We often get asked, what are the habits, what are the mindsets that I have to be in to be able to make a physical transformation? I've been thinking a lot about this and recognise from obviously training and being around hundreds of different people over the years and one of the most important things is not being judgmental, which sounds funny and something that you think, oh yeah, that's an obvious one. However, do you ever walk down the street, do you ever walk past someone and you're thinking in your head, oh my god, look at what they're wearing, or look how big they are, look at the state of them. And that is so rife in society that I've seen it, people that have been a certain way lose a lot of weight and then they start to be the ones that are judgmental of others. So they're judging other people. Now, something that I read or I heard many years ago was a, a story that illustrated this unbelievably well for me and something that I've kind of kept with me this whole time. And I want to tell it to you to see if it gives you any sort of perspective so that next time when you are out and you're walking around, you stop yourself from actually thinking about that other person. Okay, and so the story went like this. It was a Sunday morning, it was in New York, and they were on the subway. Everyone was on the subway, it was a Sunday morning, it was really nice. Everyone was just reading their newspaper, drinking their coffee, it was really relaxed. Everyone was really having a nice time. The whole situation was completely calm. Now, when the, the, the train stopped, a man got on, and he came on with his two children. As soon as he sat down, he just sat down and started looking at the floor. But his two children, they started going nuts. The whole environment started to change. They were running around, causing mayhem, and you could just feel the energy change as these children were just getting more and more annoying to everyone else. And so, gradually, eventually, the whole energy was completely different, but the man was just still there, just looking down at the floor, completely oblivious, as if he didn't see that his children were causing this whole problem. And until eventually, the person sat next to, them, to this father turned across to him and said, look, excuse me, can you not see what your children are doing? Can you stop them sort of doing this? It's Sunday morning, we're trying to have a nice time here. And the man just, he just gradually looked up and he, he turned and looked at his children and it was like he'd seen them for the first time. And he turned to this, this person and said, I'm really sorry, but I've just come from the hospital and my wife's just died and their mother just died and I, I guess I didn't really know how to handle it. Obviously what happened, everyone started to say to this man, oh, what can we do, can we help you? And the whole thing completely changed. That's what a paradigm shift, and I use this as an example because you don't know what that person you're walking past, you don't know that, okay, so they're slightly overweight. How much more overweight were they? Were they, have they already lost two stone? And you're there judging them, even though they're doing really well and they're on a journey, they're on a transformation completely. You do not know what that person over there has had to go through or has gone through or is going through, yet you're judging them. But believe me, you are not better for judging them, right? It doesn't make us better people if we bring other people down. Whereas if we're looking for the good in others, you will suddenly find that you see the good in everything and you will be better as a result. So my passing words are try and stop yourself. And it is a hard thing to do, but it is something you can do is to think you do not know the whole situation, the whole scenario with someone else. So it's not for you to judge them and you're going to be better off if you just focus on what you can do and yourself getting better.